Good morning, KDH viewers and readers. This is Thad Immerman. I'm out here on East Tremere Road here in Killeen and on scene of where the plane crash happened last night in Killeen. Uh, this plane crash happened about 5.25 p.m. yesterday afternoon. And uh, so it is a fixed wing aircraft that crashed here on uh, its private land out here on East Tremere. It's close to the intersections of well, Stagecoach Road, a little bit ways down the road, and then also near uh, Sulphur Springs as well. And just to kind of give you an idea of where this happened, uh, the plane did crash, again, on private property. Uh, there is one DPS trooper out there, uh, still on scene. It's still an active scene right now. Uh, the DPS trooper is providing security on the scene until a uh, investigator from the Federal Aviation Administration arrives. Uh, DPS did say that the FAA investigator is uh, en route from New York and uh, should be here later this afternoon. And so, again, this happened about 5.25 p.m. yesterday afternoon. Uh, this plane crash was reported. KPD uh, did put out a little bit of information yesterday. Uh, they were able to determine that the uh, pilot uh, did leave New Braunfels and uh, was on his way to Killeen Skylark Field uh, when this crashed. Uh, I don't know the exact distance, but to estimate, I guess it would probably be a few miles, uh, a few straight line miles from from Killeen Skylark Field. Um, and so I'd have to try and get on Google Maps to try and find out roughly the straight line miles this would be from Killeen Skylark Field. Uh, but, um, again, it, 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 it was uh, yesterday, and the pilot, the sole occupant, did unfortunately, uh, no, the pilot did unfortunately pass away, and uh, he was identified as, I do apologize, this is uh, East Tremere Road, and we got some traffic going on, uh, but the pilot who did pass away was uh, identified as Bradley Marzari of Belton, uh, 60 years old. And so, so yeah, he's, uh, they, they were able to identify him yesterday, uh, put out a press release last night. And so, uh, right now, again, it's still in the hands of the DPS who's on scene, but the lead investigating unit will be the FAA uh, when the investigator gets down here later this afternoon. Uh, we do have a, an updated story on this. Uh, on our website kdhnews.com and any kind of more information that we get we'll post to the to the website um, I would flip the camera around but it's really hard to see the plane even from back from where I'm standing it's about I would say two to three hundred yards back into that field uh, so and it's pretty well obstructed by some brush and some trees and some fence posts and things like that it's it's not entirely easy to see so uh, I'm not going to flip the camera around because I don't know if you'd be able to see it and uh, so but again any kind of new information that we get we'll post on kdhnews.com um, any kind of information we get from the FAA and again uh, we will keep everybody updated with anything that we get any new information we get um, so uh, if you want to check out more information it'd be on the website uh, and again, this is the uh, East Tremere Road, the plane crashed on private property behind me uh, on East Tremere Road, and it's near the intersection of Stagecoach Road and Sulphur Springs, so to give an idea of where this happened. So uh, that's it for now. Again, if any updates we get, we'll put on kdhnews.com. Thanks for watching, guys.